I fell in love with one girl in Kenya. Mm, she very beautiful, very good girl. And we start um, meeting, start live together. After we have a baby, um, live together more than four years, maybe five. And um, we stop relationship now. You fall in love, and she will broke your heart, <laughs> and take all your money, and uh, and you will be stressed, not eating. This man vowed never to marry again because of what his wife did to him. If you often watch our videos, you may know Calixte, a man who stayed in his house for 55 years because women made him scared. From when he was 16 until he was 71, he avoided women by locking himself inside his house because he was afraid of them. Calixte's story is interesting, but different from this one. While Calixte has never married due to his fear of women, this man is afraid because of what his wife had done to him. When I was in Kenya, I met this man. Hello, my name is Vladimir, like the uh, name of my president. I'm from Russia. I'm 44 years old. I was born uh, near Moscow, small town. Um, after I go to school, finish school, go to university after five years. When I was 22, I started go job in factory. I was engineer, engineer constructor. Mm. I'm making building, I'm making design, something this. Mm. And sometimes I like traveling. I was in many countries in the world. I was in China, Thailand, Vietnam, Cambodia, Philippines. Before, when I have my um, day off vacation. But uh, Asia, I don't, I don't like Asia. He moved from Russia to live in Africa. He was very rich and had a lot of money because he was an engineer. When he got to Kenya, he had a great life with everything that he had ever needed. Few years later, he married a Kenyan woman. But later, this woman broke his heart and ended this man with nothing. This experience was so upsetting that he became scared of all women and found it difficult to think about marrying again. I see many girls, but I don't like them. But if I start meet with her, she um, like it so much. I don't know how can tell um, you can fall in love. It's you it's do. magic. It's magic. Yeah. Like, like, I don't know why I start you falling in love. Picture. Where did you meet? Like we meet uh, first time I meet her on the road and I took her phone number, but I text her many time, but she. I meet her again only after three weeks. She every time was busy, I don't want. And when we start meeting, after three weeks only. Uh, and uh, I fall in love. And we was together, we was very happy. So when you told her I love you, what was the response? Maybe after two months when we was together, I feel and I love her. And I tell her. Because for fall in love need time. Uh, nobody can fall in love after one day. It's not, it's not impossible. Need to know people better. And um, we stop relationship now. One year ago, we stopped relationship. She broke my heart. Uh, so, we all wonder how he got to the point of thinking like this. Why did he leave Russia and come to Africa? What did his wife do to him? This is his story. Eight years ago, first time I came to Kenya. I read the internet in the interesting country. I come to Nairobi after go to Mombasa and come to, to uh, start staying in Twapin Hotel. I come for two weeks and I like it. 
after I come back again, after, I don't know, six months again, for two weeks, two weeks, two weeks, two weeks. But I think I, I love Kenya, I want to stay here for a long time. And I talk with my boss in Russia, I can walk in laptop, I use my laptop for walking. Use internet and I walk in Russia, I can stay in any country in the world. It's not important if you have internet and power. And I um, start working in internet, making the same, same things, building, construction, and uh, start living in Kenya. Mm. First time I live in one hotel, after I think better uh, rent mm, apartment. It's more cheaper because hotel you need to pay more expensive price. If you stay here a long time, one year, two year, uh, you need apartment. I not wasn't only in Kenya, I will tell you about love. Okay. I was in, mm -hmm. um, one month ago, I was in um, Ethiopia, mm -hmm. Addis Ababa. I was in Rwanda, I was in uh, Uganda, mm -hmm. I was in Tanzania. But uh, only for two weeks, three weeks, one month, no more. Mm -hmm. And I stay only in Kenya. Mm -hmm. But about love, yes, it's very hard to um, find good girl in Kenya. Um, love, love it's not easy. Um, Tell us about it. Have you had a relationship before? Tell us about any story about your love. Mm, six years ago, I fell in love with one girl in Kenya. Mm, she very beautiful, very good girl. And we start um, meeting, start live together. After we have a baby, um, live together more than four years, maybe five. He began a new chapter of his life in Kenya and continued his job by working remotely. He adjusted to the way of life in Kenya, got to know different people and formed new friendships. This eventually resulted in him meeting the woman who became his wife. He also mentions that his experience of finding love was difficult and ended up creating the worst moments of his life. Uh-huh. No woman, no cry. Why? Tell people. Hmm. Because woman, you fall in love and she will broke your heart <laughs> and take all your money and... Uh, and you will be stressed, not eating. Uh, no, no more. Maybe after some time. After, yeah, maybe after some years. Do you want to share a bit of how this woman broke your heart? No, it's my... No, I, I don't want to talk about it. You don't talk about it, but you know she broke her heart. Yeah. Oh. And so now, a woman who is going to come now, she must first confirm that she will not broke your heart. Now I have very big experience <laughs> mm -hmm. and not will fall in love more. It will be not easy. Yeah. Okay. Then the lady who is watching you now and this lady already like you and she did not want you maybe to know but now you want to tell her for me to like you, I have to, you have to do one, two, three. Just talk to the lady who likes you already. Uh, lady, if you like me, come to me and fall in love with me but I not will follow you. <laughs> no, you can't do that. Maybe, maybe. I will give you a chance. Okay, ladies. Mm. You give them a chance. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Tell, tell us one thing. But we don't want to go back to your, your history. Mm -hmm. But tell us one or two things that you will not want to, you can't forgive to a lady when she comes. Yes, it's very hard for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I can't forgive. Like, like, what, what, what is that action you don't like in a way? If this lady, if a lady knows, they know they have this habit, they won't come to you. Mm, I don't know. Mm. Maybe it's a life. We will see about it. We will see. Future will show to us what will be happening. But I think all will be good soon. Good soon. Yeah. Difficultly, he explains that they got along well and had a good time as a family. But then. It ended badly because it affected him in a big way because he was left with nothing and he used to have a lot. It left him living a life he never thought he would ever find because today he is living in poverty because his diet requires him to go to restaurants 
and his whole life has changed a lot. He says it is different from the life he was in before his wife broke his heart. Okay, so tell us a bit of how his life in, 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 um, in Mombasa and if people want to reach to you, where do they find you? Like, uh, do you have a, a YouTube channel? Do you have anything, any activity that people should uh, support you to Yes, uh, I have with my friend Andrew channel in Russian language uh, uh, about Kenya. We show only good places, ocean, nothing bad. We're talking about our life. Uh, Andrew have girlfriend Monica. Um, she have her channel. Yes. If people like, uh, subscribe, subscribe. Yes. And comment. Do you guys have your contact there on your channel? Like someone can have a contact? Yes, I have my WhatsApp number. On the, on the channel? Yeah. Okay. He admits that despite these hard times, he finds Africa to be a very pleasant place overall. He also has a message for people who are thinking about coming to Africa. Also, for those who want to learn more about him, there is a way to get in touch with him. So I want you to take a chance on this camera. Uh, we Afrimax visited you. Tell these people any message you want to tell people here. Like yes. About Kenya, invite people to come to Kenya, mm -hmm. invite people to listen to you. Uh, anything you want to tell people here, you can say it. Yes. Take your time. Mm. Africa Max, very good channel. Mm. I like them. I will subscribe. Who not subscribe them? Subscribe to them. And my time. Welcome to Kenya. It's very nice country. Very peaceful people. Very good uh, weather. Have ocean. Not expensive. Uh, but not fall in love. And you want? Text me if you want. <laughs> Thank you. Remember, love is not just about finding the right person but also about being the right person. Always keep in mind that a strong marriage is built on mutual respect, love, and the willingness to face life's journey together, hand in hand. Choose wisely, for your choice will shape your future and your journey towards a fulfilled life. Thanks for watching, I am Simon Greenwood, and this is Afrimax English. Please remember to subscribe.